Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm here today to play. Yeah, I'm going to play with some wax seals. And yeah, I wanted to do a wax seal on Friday, but I just couldn't be bothered. I really could not be bothered getting all this gummings out to make one wax seal. And that's what's prompted this video. I've just gone ahead and I've just made some little cards. And... Yeah, I'm going to store my wax seals on them so I can batch make them. If I stick them in a drawer somewhere or in a bag, they might get damaged or I'll just not even use them because I can't see them. I'm a very visual person. If I can't see it, I'll forget to use it. So I'm just going to hang these up. I have quite a few hooks on my walls. In fact, I'll show you what I do. I use these. You know these binder rings? I mean, that's my dies I use frequently because I use those to cut the shapes for the trim I sell in my shop. And I've cut five of each, just speeds it up a bit. And I've put them on these hooks. So I thought if I put some of these on a card and put little, yeah, yeah, eyelets in, I can do the same with some of these and just have some hung on my wall. So it'll remind me to use them. And if I do want to put one wax seal on something, it's there ready. And I don't have to go hunting and diving in drawers. So, as you can see, I've got my wax melting ready. Probably melt quicker if I go really over the candle, won't it? So, yeah, the card's very simple. I used some C7 card blanks. Now, if you're not familiar with those in US, C7 is half of C6. <laughs> our, our numbers go opposite way to yours when we're talking paper. I'll give you a measurement. The measurement's not important, really. Well, that's two and three. Well, it's just over two and three quarters. It's two and seven eighths inch by, and that's four and an eighth. Yeah, and it just happened to be perfect size to stick six wax seals on. I mean, you could make these bigger or smaller if you want. And what I've stuck them on with is these. I mean, if you're a card maker or have been like me. You might have a lot of these, just like I have. I'll try not to set my sun on fire showing you, because I'm a bit zoomed in, ready for it wax. Stick it dots, strong permanent as adhesive. I mean, if you've used these, you know that's not true. Well, the brands I've ever used, it's not been true. They're not permanent. You can pull them off. But when I want to put wax seals on a card like this, that's, that's a bonus, isn't it? They are stuck on. It's permanent for now. But if you want to take them off, I've already, I've already tested it with these two. Just twist it and it'll come off. So then you've got it to use on another project. Or if you want to put that whole thing in a journal as is. I know I'm, I mucked that, but it's still sticking. That would be quite nice to pop in a pocket in a journal. Then the recipient can decide where they want to use these wax seals. I mean, I wanted to use one when I saw Melina, always oh, me, Crafty Scrapper, use one in a Scrap Buster Challenge on Friday. She did those shabby chic things that I found quite difficult, but I did them. And she got a wax seal on one and it looked fabulous. But I was like, my desk were a mess. I'd have set my son on fire if I'd have got wax seals out. I'm risking it now, today. But I'm doing it. Yeah, all flammable glues have been moved out of the way. And other flammable liquids and items so I'm just here playing with wax and fire right now the stamps I'm going to use if you saw my BB craft unboxing uh, I think it was towards and uh, it was when it were really hot yeah I've been a bit behind since then with things I bought this set it comes with two handles and 12 heads whoa and I'm gonna let rip with these today sorry about this noise Ooh. Oh, look at them all. Lovely, lovely. We've got a flamingo, a daisy, pentagon thing, thing, a wolf, paw prints, wheat, some kind of moon and pyramid thing, a bee, buzzy bee, a Celtic symbol, a butterfly. It's very similar to my other butterfly, but it is different. Can never have too many butterflies. A compass and a cute little fox. So, which ones do I want to use today? I want to use the wheat, I want to use the bee, I want to use the daisy, I'm going to use the butterfly, and I'm going to use the fox and the paw prints. 
so I'm going to use those six. Right, I've already got some wax melting. You'll see all this, and I'll tell you why this is here in a minute, because I've discovered something. I've learned how to do wax seals by playing. I haven't got time to watch tutorials. <laughs> I have, but you know, sometimes I just want to get in and play rather than find out how I should do it. If it goes wrong, then I'll watch some instructional videos. I'm a bit like that. So and this, what happened here is, and it might happen again, I overheated the wax and I've discovered if I ho overheat, too many H's there somewhere, overheat the wax, I have trouble getting it off this. And I use a granite. This is one of my kitchen worktop block things. It's made out of granite. Oh, don't want to come off. It's not coming off. I'll remelt that bit. So, yeah. Let's see whether this one is going to... I don't think I've over melted this one. My candle's very low, so it's not getting too hot. But we'll see. So I'm just going to pour it. I've now started tipping it like that so I don't grow wax on outside burning and annoying kids. And I've not even put one of these on my handle yet. So let's get this one on pretty quick. And plonk it on. I'll place it gently, whichever you prefer. Have I done it? Yeah. When I'm doing these myself, I, I go overhead, so I get them a little bit. I get the ring around the edge a little bit more even. I can't see that side when I'm on camera. If I put a mirror there, that might solve it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a plan. So that's that one. I'm going to put another couple in to do another one. And while I do that, I'm going to finish off another one of these cards. So, yeah, it's cut to the measurements I told you. And then I've just rounded the corners. And I've just got my cropper dial. And I've punched, look at me messing with paper over a naked flame. This could go terribly wrong. Yeah, punch me hole. Put my eyelet in. And then I'm going to prepare the card with some sticky, sticky dots. Yeah, I've got loads of them. I, I found three boxes when I weren't even looking too hard. Let's set this. Using my favourite mucky gold, as I call it. It's like it's old gold, I think. Antique gold, is that the name of it? Could be. It's gold, but not too shiny. Gold, but not too gold. Yeah. I've already, have I inked? No, I've not inked. Let's ink round the edge. Oh, you should have seen me earlier. I picked one of these up and I was trying to ink with it. It didn't work, as you might assume. But I tried. I'm like, oh, that's a bit weird. Why is that door be really heavy? And why is there no ink coming off? Oh, and why is end all gold? That's because it's a wax seal stamp. Yeah, I have had wax seals before from BB Craft and other places, so... Craftsfire, which is a sister company of theirs. I've borrowed the handles from my other heads and they're all interchangeable. So I'm going to prepare these others ready. Here's one I should have prepared earlier, but we had to do it in a rush. And I'm going to put handles on all the ones I want to use today. What's that? I'm not going to use the crown again. That's melting nicely, that gold. That's my paw print. Yeah, I just think this is going to, it'll be an easy way, I want to use other butterfly, easy way to store them, won't it? Or just slip a little card up. I mean, I've got some dies, me, that cut that shape. I've got one that cuts like a button card. They might be cute on a button card. It's I think it's a Sizzix one, that, is it? Yeah, there's a die and an embossing folder that go together. Right, that's me. Oh, I've took that one off. There you go. That's, that would dry, weren't it? Good job. That's lavender or wheat. I'm not sure what they describe it as, but it could be either that to me. So that's that. Find my cake scraper. Yeah, I use my kitchen <laughs> granite block and my cake scraper. And it works a treat. Right, I'm going to put some ink on. I have. I've dug these out of my stash as well. If you're in the UK, you might have seen these. You sell them at Range and Works. The Paper Mania and the Fluid Metallic Brush Markers. The water-based, just like the pens that you get with these wax seal kits. So I've tried them and I used them on this and the work tree. They have dried spot on. The green were a bit brighter than I liked, but can't have everything, can you? 
So I best pour this next one before it overheats. Eee. So I'm going to stick to my golden red. I'm not going to get too fancy with colours today. So we'll do another red one. No, we won't because we haven't done a red one. We'll do another gold one. I'll put three. I use three pellets. It seems to work good. Put three pellets in me of the spoon that I'm using for red. And let's stick some on that quick before it dries. Oh, yeah. If you let it dry too much, look what happens. It all goes belly up. <laughs> if you don't want it, perfect. That's fine, isn't it? I, I would use that. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'll use it. But I think we'll we'll do another one. I want them to look all nice and cute and fully round on my cards. Quite like that one. Something that you can, I discovered. I was watching Tracy Susan. Ooh, I need to link her channel. Uh, yeah, she's in the UK and she does some amazing artwork. Yeah, she's uh, not got a big following yet on YouTube, but I think when people find her, she's going to explode because she's so good. She's got a cute little dog called Bailey. I think he's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, not sure. He's lovely. Right, let's colour that one in while we wait for that to do. Ooh, I could go blue. I could go golden purple now, I don't think so. I wish I had a red one, but I don't. I'm tempted to try to nick one of my daughter's... Um, Pro markers. Oh, should we try an alcohol marker? I've no idea if this is going to work, but I want red, so I'm going to try it. That's the, oh, that's a that's a Crayola. That looks a nice colour. Does it want oh, Crayola? No, it don't want to work. Does it? It seems to. I end up with all sorts in my pen tubs for kids. That's not worked very well, has it? So I'm not going to do that again. Let's use this pinky burgundy purpley colour. It has a name probably, but I have no idea what that name is. Yeah, that wiped off that. I'm going to use this. This is not dried. I've literally had these donkeys years. Donkeys. I have seen them on Amazon. I've not looked to see whether they do them at minutes from in my shop. I don't know what else I'd use them for anyway. I seem to think they were about £10. Do I like that? I think I like it better than the green. Right, we've got another one ready for Mr Fox has come off. I quite like that shape on Mr Fox. Now this time, woman, put your wax in, get your stamp on, and don't rub it till it dries. Get a random one. Oh, a daisy. There we go. Some people have this technique where they just drop it on and it's perfect. Nah, I can't do that. I've never mastered that. Right, while that one melts, let's put some glue dots on here. So, let's try this pack. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. I tried, I used a different pack. I used these Bostic ones that come in sheets first time. I'm going to use these. They look to have gone slightly yellow. They're supposed to be acid free. It says so. Instant fixing, easy to use. Well, let's see. So I'm just going to dab that on. Is it stuck? Has it egg? Let's try rolling it. Has it egg stuck? Don't want to come off back in. They may be too old, these. Oh, it's worked. Now I've got one stuck to my finger. They obviously stick to card much better than they want to stick to wax, don't they? I mean, you tend to use wax on things where you don't want things to stick, don't you? So let's put one there. That seems to be going good now. I've got, I've got the knack. It was much easier when I was using those on the sheet. Yeah, but that's me all over. Use the easy ones off camera. Use some awkward ones on camera. Mm. 
there we go so we've got six on now ready to put wax seals on that is ready to take the wax seal off so we've used daisy we've used foxy and where's wheaty that's butterfly we've used wheaty so we've got these three left to use oh <laughs> oh we need to use foxy again because we very didn't like him we went a bit wonky didn't we wonky foxy uh, i'll use foxy on this one pop it here this time I'm liking my little spin. It smells much better in my room when I'm playing with these. I'll put that on first. The sooner you put it on, the more it squidges, can you see? Well, that's obvious, isn't it? Because it starts drying. Right, I'm going to swap that out for my red spoon. So I'll do three gold and three red again. I'm liking craft card and all sorts of me lately, aren't I? So we've got red, gold and green. Making me want to sing Karma Chameleon. Yeah. Red, gold and green. No, I'm not as good as Boy George. Not nearly. Right, if you don't want these to be too sticky on your wax, try this. Just... There you go. <laughs> this reminds me of, you know before people invented the low-tack tape and stuff? Uh, for die cutting and anything. I used to go to these classes and the lady doing them used to say, get your tape and then just... Rub it on your jumper. <laughs> Just press it on your jumper a few times. Or on the back of your hand. Get rid of some sticky. So I'm just going to get rid of a bit of sticky. Then I think they'll come off a bit easier than others did. But it all depends if you want them to come off or not, doesn't it? Right, let's see if that's going to peel off. Yeah. What colour should we do this? I don't want a green daisy. Green daisy really won't be pretty, would it? I'm going to have to go for the red again. Let's use this. This will be pretty. I could put green in the middle. Yeah, it's not... I don't know if this pen is drying up a bit. You can just see the colour. I'm hoping that's coming through on camera. If it ain't, you'll, it'll just look like I've stroked it with a stick. <laughs> just stroking it with a stick, yeah. Make it feel better before you stick it to a card. Could put a little dab of green in the middle, can I? Yeah. The green is not dried up, look. Do, 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 do. I quite like that with green in the middle. I'm gonna enjoy these daisies. I think I might look for some more water based markers that haven't that aren't ten years old and drying up. Right, I'm gonna take this one and the wheat. I might need another dot on that one. I really didn't do too well with that first dot, did I? Let's put another one on. Oh, our wax seal is going to be off on its trotting travels. There we go. That worked better. So I'm going to put the wheat down here. Liking it. I sort of like altered which were gold and which were red. Uh, do -do -do. I'll put that up there. By doing the four corners first, I could then do the uh, centre one in the middle. Right, has that dried? Mr Fox has dried. Oh, <laughs> tiddlywinks again. I do love playing tiddlywinks with my wax seals. Uh, yeah, he's going to have to be a pink fox. Who says we can't have a pink fox? It's burgundy. It looks more burgundy on top of gold, doesn't it? I wonder if I put a little bit of water in these, it might liven them up. I've no idea. It's a water based. I've no idea and I'm mumbling. Sorry for mumbling people. I have got my new microphone yet. I just keep forgetting to plug it in and use it because I've got so used to not using one. Yeah, all right, Mr. Foxy. See so all coloured. That red one's melted now. We've moved Foxy out of the way. Yeah, I don't want to do the same one twice. What butterfly? New butterfly. I'm going to use new butterfly. So pour it, twist it, chuck your three new ones in quick. I were going to buy another furnace, totally forgot. There we go. That's that one ready. Because if I had two furnaces on go, I could just 
do these no problem. Uh, Becca wants to do some while she's off school. She loves doing this with me. So I might go into the furnace then we can we can have a good mass making session of these. Oh, look at that one I made. It's just a little wax dot. <laughs> don't don't all clamour at once. It was just a drip and it just turned into a dot and it ended up with, with my wax seals. And I thought it was cute. Right, come on, melt. Let's get the last... I'm not going to do third one on camera, but I will do third one when I've finished filming. So we'll get the last card ready. I mean, you could use these... I think I've got loads of pastel waxes. They might look really nice on some cream card. But I thought for the gold and the burgundy red, I thought they're going to look really nice on craft card again, which I'm loving at the minute. All craft. Craft away, grab myself a little eyelet. Hey, we've not set out on fire yet, have we? I've done any disasters. I must remember to put that in to melt for the next one. I don't know if there's any detriment to your wax if you remelt it. It seems to be working well for me. I just suck it and see. As they say, I don't know where that saying comes from. Try it and see. There we go. So, let me get, I've got a little, where is it? One of those ball chains that I intend using for these. It's a little, I took it off a key ring, this one. It's a little thinner. And when I've done these three cards, oh, that's dry. I will pop them all together with this ball chain, like so, and then I can just hang them up on my wall. If you've got one of those pegboards or anything, they'd be perfect on that. But we'll save the ball chain till I've done all three. Right, that looks melted to me. So move the butterfly. We've used that. I do like this butterfly. I think I like it better than the other one. Get pour in. Twisting. Oh, I like that twisty thing. What we got here? Oh, I'm going to do the. Oh no, the bee wants to be gold. Do the paw prints quick. Get it on before it dries. I hope you haven't got it too close to Foxy. It's not a perfect one, but it's good enough. This one. And the butterfly peels off, and I'm going to do the butterfly in gold. I'm liking the gold in these pens better. My paper mania ones because it's a little bit brighter. Where's it gone? Oh, I could be the bronze. I'm going to try the bronze. Let's see what bronze looks like. Probably going to look like gold. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it's just a different gold. It's perhaps not as bright a gold. Oh, I started going on about Tracy earlier, didn't I, on her channel. And what she did is she did some wax seals and she just cut them out. You know when they went a bit wonky? She just cut them and they looked fabulous. She did some of the square ones and cut them into squares and popped them on some mixed media projects she was doing. Brilliant. Yeah, she's a bit more mixed media than junk journal is, uh, Tracy, but so good. Right, I've not even put wax in over this time. Too busy rabbiting. I'm going to try these bits. I'm going to remelt this one that went completely wrong because it's stuck to my desk. I don't know if that's going to be equivalent to one or two because I'm really struggling to get the rest of this off. Look, really don't want to come off. I've tried with my scraper and it was bending it. There you go, put you in. Well, it's not one, not eh? I mean, yeah, you can cut these in half, can't you? But I forget that. So the last one we need to do, oh, we can't do a gold bee because we've done three other golds. It's going to have to be a red bee, whatever. Oh, I like the footprints. They look cute. Little gold footprints or bronze. We'll do the bronze again. Cute. I think the fox made those, you know. Mr. Fox. 
Right, now I've got a few red ones, I'm going to stick some more on. So I'm going to pop my butterfly up there. I'm going to pop my footprints there. Mr Foxy can go there. And then we're just waiting for the last one, which is going to be... B. B. Yeah, it's going to be. Definitely going to be. So, I'm going to fasten these together with my little... Ah, I'll put my finger on that. And my little ball chain. And then we'll be good to go. And these will hang on a hook in my craft room so that next time I'm doing a project and I think, oh, I could just do with one wax seal. I don't have to rifle through drawers looking. I've got these ready. Quite, yeah. I'm quite chuffed with that, to be quite honest. Right, is that melted enough? Not sure there's going to be enough wax there. If I do it very quick, it might work. It's not loads, but it's still really hot. Oh yeah, it's worked lovely. I hope it don't end up being too thin. Sometimes if you're too thin, if you put the stamp on straight away, you can get a hole in it. Oh, look at that poor little dragonfly. But I do like that fox. Yeah. And I am quite liking now how pale that red ended up being. Yeah, I hope you can pick it up. Can you see? It's not too in your face, as we'd say. I really like that. So, go on. You, we just want you to dry now and we can colour you in. It's not dry yet, but I'm trying. I'm still trying. Let's take that off at heat before we have a fire. Eh? That might be an idea. Let's, I'm not going to blow it out because then I did that once before and had to refilm because you couldn't see anything but smoke. <laughs> it really did look like I'd set my scent on fire. Yeah. We don't want that, do we? Got my bronze pen ready. Yay. Going to make sure he peels off before I waste my time colouring him. Oh, there you go, Mr. Buzzy Bee. I quite like that thin one. That's going to be much lower profile in a junk journal, isn't it? We can have a bronze bee. We've got a red daisy. We can have a bronze bee. It's art. It can be what it wants to be. Bee. I'm not going to even try and crack another bee joke. Right, there we go, Mr. B. You're done. You do be finished. Sorry. Promised as well, didn't I? Right, there we go. Oh, I love that. Really love that. Yeah. So, there you go. That's a way to store your wax seals or just make some little wax seal cards to pop in your junk journals, yeah? You might ruin cards taking them off, but that don't matter, does it? Just a bit of card. Right, thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I will just pet mention I've worked out how to put channels, featured channels, on my YouTube channel with the help of Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl Wilm, who is from Ethel, Lou, Ethel Lou's Unique Boutique. That's a tongue twister, that one, Cheryl. Uh, so I've managed to do it. So the people that I watch... And some smaller channels as well that I love, especially smaller ones. I think we all know what big ones are, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, perhaps we don't all, but do you know what I mean? Having said that, no, I didn't know about... I only discovered Miss E at Scrapbooking With Me about two months ago. It's like, where were I living under a stone? But yeah, just the little smaller ones. It'd be lovely if you could pop over and support them. Subscribe, have a watch. Cheryl in particular is doing a take on my twisty tags that I did last week and she showed them me over video chat and they're absolutely amazing and I said Cheryl why didn't I think of doing that and it's like I don't know tunnel vision aren't we yeah and she's made it absolutely she's made them better than I did much better than I did I'm going to be copying Cheryl again now <laughs> so I've done them Cheryl's done them but you know they might just be best tags in the world be time we've done 
coughing each other. But that's the amazing thing, isn't it, about junk journaling. You have an idea, then someone else builds on it, and it just goes on like that. And you just don't know how it's going to end, do you? Anyway, I'm just, I've just gone really into waffle mode, haven't I? I'm going to shut up, get my video uploaded, and crack on cleaning this desk, blowing that candle out, and I will sleep safe in my bed tonight knowing I'm not going to catch fire. Right, talk to you later. Bye.